The latest in presidential transport, a hydraulic catering container. It brought a recuperating President Clinton down to earth for a summit that both sides expect to be tough. A bid to resolve deep-seated differences on European security. The President's offsiders said Clinton was unconcerned that a wheelchair could weaken his image. And it provided a positive boost for the image of President Yeltsin, who's usually the invalid. Ahead of his arrival, Yeltsin had talked tough to oppose the planned eastward expansion of NATO. But now he was at least publicly more conciliatory, hoping for constructive compromise and then to part his friends. In Helsinki's presidential palace, Clinton welcomed Yeltsin's tone and then, sitting alongside his host, spoke almost fondly of his injury. So far we're doing all right. My knee and I are getting around pretty well. But this summit will be judged on more than mobility. The US wants progress on the implementation of START II, a treaty which will reduce each country's nuclear arsenal. And Clinton hopes to ease Yeltsin's fears over NATO's expansion, while Yeltsin wants to extract as many concessions as possible. The main talks are scheduled for day two. Day one ended with a state banquet. The leader who'd arrived in a catering container had made it to the dinner table. So far, so good.